diet culture is racist. In this video, we are going to go over the roots of diet culture and how it's so extremely racist. And once we have an idea of where this diet culture and this beauty, beauty ideal has come from, then we can really start to question our beliefs and change our perspective and really embrace all the uniqueness of everybody's skin color, body shape, size, etc cetera, etc cetera, all right i am a registered dietitian and food freedom and body image coach i love helping plant-based women feel free confident fit yeah with a plant-based diet i freaking love it so let's dive into it how is diet culture racist well uh full di full disclosure i'm not a history um, expert by any means however just doing some reading we all <laughs> should know that when the Europeans came to take over hello my cat just how I hi my cat just jumped on the table um when the Europeans like when Christopher Christopher Columbus came to America they really viewed themselves the Europeans viewed themselves as superior and of course they wanted to be superior so they viewed everybody um, who looked different than them as absolute garbage as absolute savages and honestly completely dehumanized them the Europeans they beat raped slaved caged yeah they caged up the native americans and shipped them across the ocean back to europe to be used as slaves and yeah they would whip these people and starve these people and these native americans would just be yeah they would be dying left and right being stuffed in these cages and in horrible horrible conditions and it was a belief in that time that anybody anything any trait that resembled a native american was um, considered savage, was considered not human and not valued, not appreciated, not as European, not as beautiful, all right? And it's really, really messed up that these um, standards, these beauty standards still exist today. If we look at the models, if we look at still the majority of popular TV shows and movies, the main characters more often are tall, white, slim, especially the women, big boobs, and yeah, full lips, big eyes, this whole thing, right? It's this Barbie beauty ideal of whiteness, thinness with the curves. It's kind of really freaking messed up and sad. And I want to make it really, really clear that this is something that we all have the opportunity to shift and to change and to shine some light on. I'm really grateful for all that's been going on with the BLM, Black Lives Matter movement, because it's, I know, I mean, it's awkward as a white woman speaking about this stuff because I obviously, I'm clearly white privileged. I clearly haven't experienced the, um, the racism that, uh, people of color have experienced and I'm really working to educate myself on these topics and it's really sad how the beauty standards years ago hundreds and hundreds of years ago have carried over to today where we're fed this lie that as long as we look a certain way as long as we have this whiteness this thinness this um, beauty ideal we're fed this lie that that equals higher value and more happiness and more acceptance when in reality that's not the case right so diet culture perpetuates this and when i say diet culture i mean these businesses that like for example um whenever you see a magazine that says how to lose x amount of pounds in a certain amount of time like how to um be thinner how to you know what I, like these advertisements that have people smiling because they're so thin whether it be like weight watchers or whatever it is clearly these people aren't focused on your holistic health and your mindset and your happiness 
clearly these are not focused on your empowerment. They're more so focused on keeping you perpetuating this belief that you need to fix something about yourself in order to feel confident and happy in your own body. And this needs to stop. And it's messed up, it's fucked up. Yeah, I said it, I said the F word, that this really does start with racism and the Europeans looking to be superior and yeah, overtake the Americas, basically. So with this, please do what you can to educate yourself around, hey, like, what TV shows are you watching? What do the main characters look like? Are they of color? Are they, um, do they have curves? Like, do they, are they shorter? Okay, think about the look of the TV shows that you watch. Also pay attention to who you follow on Instagram, who you follow on YouTube, and um, yeah, what music that you listen to. Are these lyrics, are the things that you read, are the things that you're exposed to, are these derogatory towards different mm, body types or different, um, yeah, different body types. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, I've really done a cleanup with my own feed. I was like, how is it that everyone in my feed is mostly white, like mostly white? And most of the movies that I watch accidentally, like uh, they're all of the main characters are white and slim. Like I, it's really crazy once you become aware of this. So let's shift our idea thinking that we need to uphold to this idea and perpetuate this. And it's scary. It's scary going against the grain. It's really uncomfortable being like, oh my God, like I'm going to fucking embrace my body. I'm going to embrace my whatever race I am, whatever color I am. And like, I feel like a hypocrite saying this because clearly I'm a white woman. Like what the hell? But it's messed up and people watching this are probably like what the hell does this girl have to say like she's a she's a slender white woman like i it's yeah i know i get it but even i have had my own body image issues which is messed up like it really does perpetuate eating disorders and it perpetuates people being just so self-conscious even white like slender women like myself feel like I need to fix myself because of all of this programming. So it's really messed up. And um, it's up to everybody, every woman, every man, men deal with this as well, to like stand up against this idea that I need to change myself to be confident and to be good enough and be fucking confident and good enough right here, right now. Judah, don't knock over my camera. Oh my gosh. Is everybody with me? Are you with me? Let's do this. Let's embrace ourselves right here, right now. Let's prioritize our health and health promoting behaviors. Let's get excited about eating healthily and just wanting to be those role models that we really want to be in the world, right? I know that you want to bring more energy, more focus, more productivity and light and love to everybody and everything that you do. That's why we take care of ourselves. We don't want to take care of ourselves to diminish ourselves and to 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 perpetuate racism, to perpetuate this hierarchy of what a body is supposed to look like. Fuck that. No, we're taking care of ourselves because our unique bodies are amazing. So please, if it's not clear now, like make it, make it clear now. Let's do what we can to um, be confident in our skin and set a damn good example and stop this racism BS, okay? I love you so much. Let me know what questions you have and have a freaking beautiful day. Bye.